I've written so much unpublished fiction over the years that I forget that these short stories are sitting in my fucking file cabinets. <laughs> I, I found this one. This is actually pretty good. Most men are lucky enough to encounter blue eyes that glow with a rare dancing magic once, sometimes twice, maybe thrice in a lifetime. But it wasn't just mirth that tangled across the parquet of the woman's great gleaming panes. If you peered into these extraordinary ojos long enough, you could see jugglers and contortionists and carpenters and anarchists and garrulous hot dog vendors and hyper-literate bartenders and formidable sous chefs and quirky philosophers and unicyclists and dashing pointless painters and revolutionaries who understood the sophist follies of predictable ideology. It wasn't just a single charming person who glanced and blinked back, but a hearty concatenation of benevolent souls who could truly change and enliven the world. So it was easy to see why the sea cooed as ardently as it did over the next five minutes. That the sea, which had been around quite a long time, had chosen this beauty above all others, was a testament to the unimpeachable taste it had in character and possibility. Not bad. I, I may actually revise this, tweak it, and see if I can resubmit it.